Hello and welcome to this guide about how to collect lots and lots of water. Now, water is one of those things which is kind of um, tricky to scale up, especially on your home world. But um, there are certain kinds of world called um, <clears throat> water worlds. And in this case, one spawned for me around a M-type star. But I don't know if that's consistent. Um, I'm not sure. But I was just looking through for the Spinform Stalagmite Crystal um, for systems that had that. And then I looked through the various um, systems on the planet and just uh, in the star system and then found one of these water worlds. So that's the one that you want to go for. The, the other bonus that these have is that they have a lot of this Spinform Stalagmite Crystal, like a lot of it, as you can see. Like if we grab it from here, we're basically done. And they also have a lot of crude oil. Um, so they're also a really good source for crude oil. So finding one of these and connecting at least some of it um, is a really good idea. Okay, now something to keep in mind is that you will need a huge amount of soil pile on these because the, it's it's very deep. Then the next step is that you want to find like a sort of area like this that has lots of water in it, which is not going to be difficult to do. And then you just make sure that the um, foundations are about one wide um, try and line this up and then just draw a um, a line upwards like this right I know that we're gonna be interfering with this but I don't mind a lot and it's okay to make like some mistakes but try not to make too many mistakes and it's the easiest if you can just walk in a straight line um, Okay, and I'm just getting, you know, I'm streaming at the same time on YouTube and I'm just getting a comment that somebody else has only found the, um, you know, water worlds around M-type planets. So there's an additional piece of information for you. Okay, um, and then we just grab this and then we have to try and sort of get it in here. Oh, this sucks. The fact that I put this in a bad location. So I'm gonna fix that up and just go upwards a little bit more. I'll be back in one moment. Okay, and um, then, so I fixed that up and now we can try the uh, blueprint again, because it's actually kind of tedious to put in otherwise. So you just wanna look for that water line and try and get it in. Um, okay, and then sometimes you see like down here, this guy needs some foundation support. Um, but other than that, this is looking fine, right? Like, so we just need to put a little bit more foundation right here, and then we would be good to go. So let's do that again. And this is a lot easier than manually constructing it. Um, you know, in some place. Okay, need liquid source, and then it goes in. So this is this makes it really easy, and now you know they're going to run around and um, hook it all up. Um, so yeah, the other thing to think about is how many of these you share on the same um, conveyor belt. I usually go for 10 because um, we're going to be speeding up the gathering rate in a big way for these. So um, that's why you should just combine 10. If you, you know, later on you have a very high gathering rate and you've combined too many of them into one um, belt, then it's... Um, you know, there's no point in it. It's not going to speed up your um, uh, lack of item. That sucks. Uh, I'll have to request more of those. Um, but yeah, what's the point of all this scale if then, you know, you're, you're blocking your production line? And then it, you just connect it into a um, interstellar logistics station and then you're good to go. So that's the guide. Thank you for watching. And until next time, bye.